Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of time intervals. This is standard 3.7c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 18 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So this looks like a pretty simple problem, but it's actually pretty difficult because we've got two different steps that we need to think about here. Let's take a look. Deborah and Shelley started running a race at 9 a.m. So that's what this time is right here. Start time, they've labeled it for us, but we know it's 9 a.m. because we've got the hour hand at the nine, and then the minute hand is up at the 12, which is the o'clock, that's the top of the hour. Deborah finished in 45 minutes. Now, if we just stop right there, we can actually find one of our answer choices, and it's going to be incorrect. So adding time is going to be a little bit difficult. Sometimes you can add time vertically, like you would add other things, and then sometimes you can't. And so let me, let me show you an example. So let's just say we want to say 9 o'clock, and then we want to add 45 minutes. Well, this will work because as long as the minutes don't go over 60, everything kind of works. So we can say 9.45. Let's take a look at a clock. That's going to help us here. If we just want to double check, what I like to do is I like to kind of build my own analog clock here. And then just count by five. Skip count by fives. And you notice here on my clock that what I do is I do the 12 and the 6 and the 3 and the 9. I get my 4. Uh, points and then I just kind of build in between. So it's going to start at 9, but I'm going to start at my o'clock here and I'm going to just count 45 minutes. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So my minute hand is going to start, is going to end right there at the 9, and then my hour hand is started at the 9, but it's actually going to be pretty close to 10, because I'm really close to the o'clock, which means that the hour hand is almost the next. So that is going to be 9.45. And if I wanted to, I bet you I could find a 9.45. And as we look, there's actually not a 9.45. So this is where you say, what? Did I do it wrong? I thought all I had to do was add 9 and, nine and 45 minutes. So you got two choices. We can either guess, we can find one that we think is close, or we can keep reading because here we go. This is the other part. So that's the tricky part, guys, is when you do the initial addition and you think you have the answer of 945 and you don't find it, don't just guess. Let's keep reading. Let's see if there's something we missed and there was something we missed. Shelly finished the race 20 minutes after Deborah. So Deborah finished, let me write this right here. Here's Deborah. Deborah finished at 9.45, and then Shelly finished 20 minutes later. So this is where things get weird, is when you try to add 20 minutes. And look what you have, 9.65. See, that's, that's why we can't add when it gets larger than 60, because it just looks weird. There's no such time as 9.65. So we need to add another 20 minutes. So let's go back to this clock right here, this 9.45. Let's say we got 9.45 right here, and let's just add another 20 minutes. So I'm going to skip count by fives again. I'm going to say 5, 10, 15, 20. So I'm actually going to end right here. This is the 0, 5, because it's one group of five. But my minute hand went past the 12, which means my hour hand went to the next hour. So instead of 9.45 and then to 9.05, that would be backwards. It's actually going to be 10.05. So if we, date, if we take 9.45, if we add 15 minutes, that's going to get us to 10. That gets us to the top of the hour. And then another five, that's what's going to get us to what we ended up as, as our 10.05. So adding past the hour is a little bit tricky, but that's going to give us an answer here of F.